Time shared on the water with friends and family can create memories that last a lifetime. Whether you're in the captain's seat or riding behind the boat, these experiences can open new doors that will help you make the most out of every summer. I'm Dylan. And I'm Caro. Together, we're going to walk you through the basics of towed water sports to help you unlock a new level of confidence so you can make the most of every minute on the water and go boldly into each adventure that comes your way. Driving the boat is a fun part of any towed water sports experience because you get to help your friends and family have a great time on the water. Driving also comes with extra responsibilities to help make sure the riders are safe and have the best possible experience. As professional wakeboarders, we both know that speed consistency can make or break a session behind the boat. Fluctuations in speed can change the shape, size, width, and push of the wake, which can create a frustrating experience for the rider. Having dependable speed control, like what you get with Mercury Smart Tow and cruise control systems, let us enjoy our rides without worrying about unpredictable changes in riding conditions. It also makes the driver's job much easier. If you're interested in these systems, they're compatible with Mercury engines with SmartCraft capabilities. In addition to keeping the speed consistent, SmartTow can also control the acceleration of the boat using preset launch profiles. This adds a whole new level of convenience for both the rider and driver. To help you make the most of the SmartTow system, we're going to walk you through how easy it is to operate and share all the advantages that come with it. SmartTow controls are available on a variety of Mercury displays and gauges. Here we're using a touchscreen. You'll notice you can access cruise control and SmartTow from this display. Cruise control, which is similar to what you'll find in cars, will hold the boat at a desired speed. Then there's Smart Tow, which was designed for all towed water sports. It controls both speed and launch acceleration or rate. Cruise control is a great feature for long rides in the boat when you're looking to lock in that perfect cruising speed. To operate it, first make sure the engine is running and in neutral. Tap the boat icon on the left of the screen. On some displays, it might be listed as vessel controls. From there, tap the cruise control icon and pick your desired speed using the up and down arrows. After that, tap the enable icon, which will turn orange when the system is on. Now, you're ready to go. Remember, you're still in control of how quickly you reach the set speed, so accelerate accordingly. Once the boat has reached set speed, push the throttle all the way forward. Cruise control will make sure you don't exceed the speed you've chosen. The cruise control feature will not engage if you come up short on throttle. For example, if you have the cruise set to 20 miles per hour and you only reach 18 miles per hour, the cruise will not turn on. Once cruise is engaged, you can also adjust the speed while underway using the up and down arrows. To deactivate the cruise control, slow the boat down as you normally would using the throttle. After the boat has slowed down, place the throttle in neutral, then tap the orange disable icon. Now, let's talk about Smart Tow. Smart Tow is the most advanced speed and acceleration control on the market. It comes with built-in launch presets numbered 1 to 5 that control the acceleration of the boat. Preset 1 is the slowest, most gradual acceleration, and preset 5 is the most aggressive. Choosing the correct profile will depend on both the weight and experience level of the rider. We suggest trying all acceleration profiles before anyone gets in to be towed. This will give both the rider and driver the chance to agree on which profile best suits them. For the rider, it provides perfect pulls every time, eliminating any uncertainty around how quickly the boat will accelerate and gives the captain added control and confidence. And that's why I never let Dylan drive for me without Smart Tow engaged. Hey, hey, come on now. You know I'm the best boat driver around. Sure, Dylan. Anyway, let's get back to how Smart Tow works. First, make sure the boat is running and in neutral. Now tap the boat icon on the left of the screen. On some displays, it might be labeled as vessel controls. Next, tap Smart Tow, then the Ski Tow icon. From there, you can pick your desired launch using the plus and minus icons and your desired speed using the up and down arrows. After that, tap the on icon, which will beep and turn orange to let you know it's enabled. Before you take off, make sure the rope is tight and the rider is ready. Now push the throttle all the way forward to max throttle and let Smart Tow do the rest. It's that simple. You can easily adjust the speed while underway by using the up and down arrows. If the rider falls and you return to idle speed, it will beep to let you know when it's ready to be used again. To deactivate Smart Tow, gently pull the throttle back until the boat begins to slow down. When the boat is at idle speed, simply place the throttle in neutral, then tap the off icon. Smart Tow is a great feature for all towed water sports. Whether you're taking your children for their first tube ride or towing an advanced wakeboarder, one of the preset profiles will work perfect for you. We hope you enjoy using Mercury Smart Tow as much as we do. Thanks for checking out this episode of Boating Basics presented by Mercury Marine.